in case you wish to create and run multiple virtual machines on your Mac, you will need to install a virtualization software like Parallels Desktop 16. During installation, you may receive an error message, network initialization failed. If you receive such a message, the result will be that any virtual machines that you create in this environment will not be able to access the internet. In order to solve this problem, we need to edit an XML file which is created by Parallel Desktop 16 at the time of installation. And once that is done, your virtual machines will be able to access the internet without any problems. So now let's look at the details. The first thing we need to do is identify the location of the file which we wish to edit. So launch finder and then double click on Macintosh hard drive, then library, from there, navigate down to Preferences. There you go, and Preferences. And then finally, navigate down to Parallels. Now in here, you will find an XML file called network.desktop.xml. Now this is the file that we want to edit. So I'm going to move this window to the side. And now the next thing we are going to do is launch Terminal. Using Spotlight, access Terminal. Now what we need to do is here we will type sudo space nano. Nano is the text editor which runs within the terminal. And then what we need to do is we need to simply drag this file and drop it there into the terminal. I'm going to maximize the terminal window. What it does is it copies the entire path of the XML file into terminal. If you wish, you could type the whole path yourself. And the next thing you need to do is enter your admin password. And once you've typed in your admin password, um, it will open up the file. Now what we want to do is navigate down to the fifth line of this file and here you will see you have a tag use textless. you have an opening tag and a closing tag and then in between you have the value minus one. Now what we need to do is change the value of minus one to zero. That is all we need to do. And then we need to save this file. Save the file. You would press Control O. Then exit Terminal. Terminate. And now basically the file has been changed. Now I want to show you another method. In the first method we used Nano, which was a uh, text editor that worked within terminal but if you want to you could also use um, text editors like um, sublime text or text edit to get the job done so i'm going to launch sublime text and basically drag and drop this file across and you will see that the fifth line has the value zero that we entered just a few moments back. So it's up to you to choose which method you want to use. Now, uh, once you've done that, you would then click on File, Save, and then you would launch your Parallel Desktop 16. Okay, so I'm going to close this down now. So to summarize, we opened up this XML file and we changed the value from minus one to zero. Then we saved the file 
and we start our virtual machine. In my case, it's Windows 10 virtual machine. Now, once this launches, you should be able to access the internet without any problems. So once it launches, we will, we will start Edge, which is the browser in Windows, and uh, basically um, just navigate to some, to Google or Bing, one of the two websites. So once we are in our Windows virtual machine, the next thing we will need to do is simply launch a browser, which is Microsoft Edge in this case. And sure enough, it's connecting to the internet as expected. So I could click on a new tab here click on the plus sign and then just go to google and it works as expected ensure that your network adapter is set to shared network in case you have any problems connecting to the net okay so whatever network is on your host Big Sur, the same network will be shared across to your virtual machine. Okay, so that's that for now. Till we meet again in the next video. Goodbye.